Hey everyone, how's it going? So today we're going to have a look at the easiest and fastest method that I have found for getting gold on those snipers in Modern Warfare. Now, snipers can be a little bit of a pain depending on how good you are at sniping. If you're completely rubbish at it like I am, it's going to take you a little bit longer. But there's a few little tips and tricks that I've found along the way just to help you out a little bit, speed the process up, make it a little bit less painful. As always, we're going to be doing this with every category on my own road to Damascus just to try and help you out on your own road to Damascus. Everyone wants it. If we can make our lives easier, why not? It's the way forward. So let's start. Spray paint, nice and simple, 450 kills. You're going to get this along the way, although I seem to have found it's the last one that I fully unlock. But you will eventually get the spray paint camo just by playing. Woodland, same thing, is 60 headshots. You're going to get them Especially using a sniper, you're going to get them along the way. Nice and easy for you. Digital, 50 kills while crouching. Because we're sniping, we're going to spend more time at the back. We're going to be crouched a lot. Especially when it comes later on, we're going to cut the other camos. So, you're going to catch that nice and easy. Dragon, 50 kills in a single shot. Now, this is easy for the majority of the snipers. They all, especially if you're hitting the chest above, they're all single shot anyway. Dragonov's the only one you're going to run into problems with. I recommend with the Dragonov playing in a hardcore playlist. It turns it into a one-shot sniper. It's then the same as using the others, just it's semi-automatic and it's still a bit shit. But that's me personally. Run it into hardcore, just get the Dragonov knocked out fast. Other than that, the other snipers, nice and easy. Splinter, 150 kills with all the attachments on. Now, you're going to have all the attachments on. Depending on what camo you're going from, you're still going to have all the attachments on. So, this, again, should be easy. You're going to get this passively without doing anything. Now, the two you need to do something for. Topo and Tiger. So, Topo is 50 long shots. And Tiger is 50 kills while mounted. Now, I personally have found the easiest way of doing this is equip a thermal optic, smoke grenades... And have deployable coverage of field, field upgrade. Go into either Shoot House. Or at the moment we've got Cheshire Park. They're your two easy maps to do it on. Cheshire Park. Go into the pub. Mount up on the bar. You can jump behind the bar. Mount up on it. Pop a smoke. I like to have proximity mines. Just to cover a couple of doorways. Just in case they try to go sneaky on you. But mount up. Thermals on. Throw a smoke. And then you can see straight down the sight line. Anyone in the shop or in the office above. You can pick them off. Nice and easy. And again, it gets you your mounted kills. Or the other end of the map, go in the shop, go upstairs, throw a smoke through the window, crouch until your field upgrades up. So crouch, get your long shots. Anything by the bus backwards will hit a long shot. So pop your shots. As soon as your field upgrade is ready, drop your deployable cover and mount up in the window. So you're not quite at it, but you can mount up at the back and you can still then get your mounted kills at the same time. The other one, shoot house. We all know the spot. Each end, A and C, on the table, mount up on the wall, pop your shots. Or just in front, mount up on the corner of the wall, take your shots. Or drop a deployable cover up just so you can get a different angle. Throw them off a little bit because they're not used to people sitting there. Same thing, throw your smoke. You can see through. Lovely jubbly. That's your two easiest way of doing that. Now, I recommend you, once you unlock Tiger, stop what you're doing go and do long shots and mounted by the time you've done your long shots and your mounted you should have the gun fully upgraded skulls unlocked ready to go for the rest of it now i forgot to mention one of the easiest ways of ranking this gun up to begin with is shoot house or it's shipment at the moment their playlists at the moment we're lucky we've got double xp so use it wisely while you can really speeds things up but get it leveled up get up to tiger Stop what you're doing, put your thermals on, put your smokes on, and get those long shots and those mounties out of the way. Because once they're done, you can jump back in and just concentrate on finishing the rest without an issue. Do that, then you've got stripes, 25 double kills. You're going to get these as you play. You'll probably find most of the stripes will be done by the time you finish doing Tiger and Topo. Reptile, 75 no attachments. So as soon as you finish Splinter and you've got your 150 kills with attachments, take your attachments off. Straight into Reptile. You'll get the 75 kills while going. It is painful, especially on certain guns. Dragonoff. 
I hate the dragon off. Um, but that's as easy as that. And then skulls, three kills, 25 times without dying. Again, you're going to get these through playing. If it's really your last thing you can do, you can slow the pace a little bit. Maybe go into shoot house rather than shipments. So it's a little bit less crazy. But slow the pace down and you'll be fine. That's really about it, if I'm honest. What you want to do, once you've got Tiger and Topo, once you've finished, sorry, not Tiger and Topo, once you've finished Reptile and you've done your no attachments, equip the gun with whatever you can to make your ADS as fast as possible and just go into shipment. You're not going to be top scorer, unless you aren't, unless you're, you know, unless you're with FaZe, you're not going to be top scorer. But you're going to get your kills and you're going to get them fast, which is what i done to finish off every, every other one. Equip for ADS and just run into shipment and just start shooting everyone you can and that's really it if i'm completely honest they're really not that difficult slightly tedious but they're not really a massive issue it can be done you'll find as you get more and more used to it you get better and faster at the quick scoping and your aiming well i hope this has helped you out if it has please drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be doing more guides for gold coming up turn on notifications and I'll see you next time.